Hey everybody. Happy, happy Sunday. Uh, it's Carla Nicole. Oh my goodness. Getting comfortable here. Okay, there we go. Happy Sunday, everybody. So, listen. <laughs> There's a very high possibility I may get rained on. <laughs> but it's okay, because I ain't far from my truck. So, I'm good. I'm good. Um, so, I hope everybody's doing good. Hey, Carolyn. I hope everybody's doing good, man. Today is a beautiful Sunday. But I'm feeling the storm coming, and I'm kind of seeing the gray, the, the gray clouds and stuff. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> sister don't want to get rained on. But if I do, it's okay. It's cool, right? It's cool. It's cool. I'm feeling the drizzles now, but, you know, we're going to make it through this 12, 1230. If I got to go to the truck, we're cool. It's all good. But, you know, um, I tell you guys all the time, you know, my commitment to do this show every Sunday uh, will not be affected by rain snow sleet or fall i'm gonna make sure that we get the job done so i first want to talk about manifesting so um you guys really need to go over and take my courses there's two courses that's ready right now to take the first one is called awakening your gifts and the second course is called Mastering Your Feelings. Now, like I explained to you before, the Mastering Your Feelings and the Awakening Your Gifts are free courses. You can take them today. You don't have to wait. These are, these are courses that you want to start to make sure that you master Awakening Your Gifts and Mastering Your Feelings because if you don't, and I'm gifting you all this information about manifestation, unfortunately, you're going to hit some um, speed bumps in life that can hinder you from really getting the job done. Because you have to awaken your gifts and, and you have to master your feelings in order to manifest something. So those two courses are up right now. I definitely want you guys to sign up for them. Please, please, please sign up for them. I will be putting the links in this uh, live right here. I will be putting the links there. So I want you to, guys to say, once you do enroll in the course, I want you to say, I did. So I'm able to know that you did enroll in the course. The course is called Mastering Your Feelings. And awakening your gifts you're gonna fall behind if you don't do this self-work because self-work is essential to manifestation essential you can watch me every Sunday you can be diligently on your grind showing up every Sunday and watching what I'm saying agreeing with what I'm saying hey Yana agreeing with what I'm saying and all of those things but it's not gonna do you any good if you don't do your own self-work and so it's essential that you take the courses and you take them seriously and you do work okay actually this rain is feeling fantastic so I'm not gonna run from it so again mastering your feelings and awakening your gifts is essential to mastering to mastering um, man manifestation and to having that happen so now I want to talk about um, while we're here today so this manifestation series is to help you with manifesting your purpose, manifesting your reason for being on the planet, and getting really good at, um, you know, just manifesting things that you really want, the life you want. You know, when you open your eyes every morning, and I tell you guys this all the time, when you open your eyes every morning, it's a gift, number one. Number two, it's a take. Just like they take, when you, when you see these different movies and they say, take one, bow, take one, take two, every time you wake up, it's a new take in your life and so hey Raphael so when you have these new takes in your life which is new days you want to make sure that you are essentially being mindful of what it is you need to do to manifest what you need to have what you need 
Okay, it's getting a little bit heavier on the rain, so I'm going to go on my truck, but we're going to keep it going. Woo! All right, so manifesting is very essential, and, and the power of manifesting isn't hard to do. But we definitely need to be mindful of what it is we want to do to manifest, right? And I think that the, the hard part about it is the number one difficult thing is trust. Ooh-wee! Right? Trust. Isn't trust one of the hardest things for us to, to uh, not just master, but be open to? Um, and I think mastering, um, mastering how to trust others will really be great for when you're manifesting something. So be mindful that when you're manifesting something, you're going to have to trust. But now I know you guys are probably thinking I'm talking about trusting other people. Hey Tim, that's my cousin. Hey love. I know you're thinking it's about trusting other people. I know you're thinking it's about trusting um, everybody else. But I'm going to give you two things that I don't think you think about. You have to trust your God, number one, your source. Whatever you believe in, your source that brought you here. <laughs> you have to start trusting that. I want to give you a little I want to give you a little background story about trust and I think this is kind of funny. And I kind of I kind of, personally I kind of um giggle a little bit, but I think my relationship with God is very similar to my relationship with my washer. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you why I say that. I have a really funny acting washer. Okay, so my washer doesn't tell me that it's going to do the clothes for me. Or that it's going to even run properly. But after a while, I'm not going to stand there and watch the, the washer run and see if it's running properly. But what I've done is I learned that in order for my clothes to get washed with me having less worry. And worry is a very big thing about... It, it actually dissipates, uh, when you worry, it dissipates faith. So why I told you this is, it's very essential that we learn about our relationship with our source, God. And I think that a lot of times we aren't really even thinking or wrapping our mind around how important it is that we're focusing on our relationship with God first. If you manifest something, okay, you have to believe that somebody's got you. And I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about your source. Who got you here to begin with? <laughs> so we have to be mindful. Oh, well, wait a minute. Somebody's got me. This is how I explained it to my baby son. The other day, about five in the morning, I was just kicking him with that wisdom. And I told him, I said, son, you know, everything I create, you know, mommy cre creates all the time. I'm writing, I'm drawing, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm creating a, a, a apparel line. I said, after all that I have created, I don't know if I'm going to fall off this cliff or not. Because I'm just walking blindly, believing that God's got me. But I don't know for sure. But I know in my soul, in my, in my faith carries me to understanding that no, I know God's got me and I could be walking on air right now, son, but I'm not going to fall because I believe my belief, my faith, my understanding of how powerful my God is. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about falling. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely about doing. So as long as I'm doing, I'm one step closer to creating the empire I'm building right now. So that is very important. So, first of all, we have to get our faith and our trust in faith very much in alignment. And I'm not talking about talking about faith. I'm not talking about acting as though we're faithful. I'm talking about when stuff goes to shambles and you're not even worried or shooken by it. I'm not shaken by something going awry or something going wrong or something going to the left when it should be going right. I'm not shaken by that. Because I know God got me. So I'm not worried about it. And we have to be mindful of that. That is very, very important. So in order to build trust in other people, 
you have to build your trust in your source, in your God first. Okay? So don't don't get all caught up in, oh, I want to be able to trust others. Well, you first got to trust your God. And see, why I tell you that it's important that you trust your God is ask God to inspire your your um, level of discernment. How well can you discern? See, a lot of people, they don't talk about discernment, but ask, you got to ask the source to, to sharpen your discernment. Because if you don't have a sharp discernment, we don't know if the person that we're trying to allow to come into our circle or allow to come into our cipher, we don't know for sure if that person's going to take advantage or not. And they may. We don't know. But what we want to make sure we do is we ask the source to make sure we are covered. And in order to be covered, we have to make sure we sharpen our discernment. And in order to sharpen your discernment, you have to ask for it. God has to, you have to have a relationship with God. You can't just walk around in the days and not have a relationship. You got to get, you got to get prayerful. You got to, you got to meditate. You got to get in silence. I told you guys last week, you can't manifest something if you ain't got no God or no source in your life. And even if you don't think you do, you do. Some people are walking around atheists and they still got a source. <laughs> it's just what it is. They may not believe it, but they didn't get here without one. So, I'm not here to be all preachy, but I'm here to just tell you what it is. In order to manifest, you have to make sure you are mindful that you have a faith in the source. That's the number one Number one way to improve and build your trust. You got to first build your trust in your faith. Once you build your trust in your faith and you know God got you no matter what. No matter what. Everything you're trying to manifest, you know God's got you. You ain't got to worry about who said what, who did what, who may say, who may do this, who may go left the center. You don't have to worry about it because God got you. So when you're manifesting stuff. Don't get all caught up in about, well, I don't know if this person's going to take advantage of me and I don't know this. I, you know, that's just becoming very suspicious. And when you have a suspicious state of mind, you can't produce nothing. Because even when you produce something, you're hesitant about sharing it with others or you're hesitant about allowing others to see it because you're afraid somebody's going to steal it. It's not that serious, man. It's not. You got to start being mindful in the mind of what you want and desire to have in your life. And in order to do that, you got to sharpen your skills on saying, okay, let me start practicing my faith in God first. And once I start practicing God faith, I'll be able to be faithful and being honored to have other people come in my space and share some things. And then I can build relationships. See, we get, we get all caught up about love relationships, right? We talk all the time. About, we, I want a love relationship. I want a man. I want a woman. I want this. I want a man. I want a, I want a husband. Da, 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 da. We want all these things. But don't have a relationship with the source or our God. And then we're wondering why we can't get what we want. Well, do you have a relationship? Can you hear when God's speaking to you? Can you hear at all? Are you able to hear? You first got to get quiet, which means you got to get silent, which means you got to meditate, which means you got to have prayer time. Those things have to be taking place in order to manifest something that's worthy and of value. But you have to have a way to build your trust. And in order to build your trust, like I said, build your relationship with the source, with your God. Number two, build your trust in you. Do you trust yourself? I mean, really, answer that question. Do you really, truly trust you? Because, see, God can gift you with assignments and things that God wants you to start doing and manifesting. And you are perfectly equipped to do those things. But if you are questioning your own personal trust in yourself you're going to become stagnant and you're not going to move on what God is asking you to do. So guess what? Nothing's going to get manifested. 
You have to learn to build your trust in yourself. Building trust is also building confidence and knowing that you have what it takes to do what you need to do in order to manifest what you're supposed to be manifesting. In order to manifest some things, you have to believe in you, period. How do you do that? How do you learn to manifest? Trusting yourself. Well, first you got to start doing the work. See, a lot of times we'll give ourselves all kinds of excuses as to why we can't manifest something. Well, I don't have a degree or I got this to do or I got that to do. Well, I don't know if I can do it because of this or I don't know if I can do something because of that. And we come up with all kinds of excuses. You know, I had a show on that. And those excuses are hindering you from achieving your your goals, from achieving what you are supposed to be in your purpose. And so guess what? Because you're not achieving what you need to be achieving in your purpose, guess what's happening? Nothing's getting done. And you're just walking around, as my dad says, you're just walking around in a daze. You're not manifesting nothing. And you're just existing. You're not living. Totally two different things. And you're not shining on loving yourself. So in order to build your trust in yourself, it's very essential you start to build your confidence in you. And to build confidence in yourself is to start having yourself do things that is unknown or uncomfortable for you to do. Feel what I'm saying? You can walk around here all day and complain about being broke. All day long. I'm broke. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money. Can I borrow this? borrowing from Paul to pay Peter and all that you can be that and you can continue down that trend of that being a part of your life forever until your dying day but it's going to take something to say wait a minute I'm tired of being broke I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck I'm tired of this I, I'm ready to start manifesting a new found way of existing in my world I'm tired of it. I'm just tired of it once you get to that fed up state of being then what you need to do is sit back and say okay what can I create what am I good at I'm going back again to telling you guys about why it's so important to do the work remember I told you I have courses out here free courses one called awakening your gifts and one called mastering your feelings if you start sharpening awakening awakening your gifts guess what you won't be broke. You won't be broke. You won't be lonely. You won't be tired. I ain't never tired. <laughs> I'm always working. Even when, even when my babies are asleep, I'm up. I'm doing the work. I'm always moving. I'm working. I don't have time to be, uh, oh, I'm sad. I'm depressed. I want a relationship. I ain't got that to do because I'm busy on the grind. I'm in my pur purpose, though. So in order to be in your purpose, you've got to focus on what is it that I need to do to stop being broke. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of having to pay, pay live paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. Well, you've got to make the changes in yourself first. What are you doing to awaken your gifts? Did you take my course? I'm giving, to, giving it to you for free to learn about awakening your gifts and you still haven't taken it. Why? And there is no excuse because it's free. I'm just saying. Only you can answer that. So, awakening your gifts can make you build your own economy. Can help you to build a legacy for your kids, your kids' kids, your grandkids, your great-grandkids for years on end. We don't have to be living miserably. We don't have to be in our stagnation. We don't. We don't have to live paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. We don't. We can end up getting out of that by saying, you know what? I want to make a change. What do I need to do? You need to take the course first. I built this course for you to do the self work so you can start to grow and learn about how to learn 
the importance of awakening your gifts. You can't awaken nothing if you're not taking the course. So I need you to get on that. Take the course and understand the importance of awakening your gifts first. Okay, you got what I'm saying? All right. Now, I told, talked earlier about building trust in yourself. You first have to awaken the gifts, number one. That is very essential and very important. You can't awaken nothing if you are sleeping on your own, I mean, on your own gifts, on your own capabilities, on your own beauty. You can't, what are you doing? Are you walking around existing? You know what I created? I created already this morning. I've been up since five. I've been writing. I created a banner. I, I mean, I could go on and on and tell you what I've been doing. I research all morning. I cooked for it for Sunday dinner. I've been creating all day. <laughs> and then I had to come in here and prepare to talk to you guys. So I had to go into meditation. I had to prepare for what's necessary to get this done. I don't get paid for this, but I get eternally paid for this. Does that make sense? I'm in my purpose right now. Just saying. So in order to build the trust in yourself, you have to awaken your gifts. In order to awaken your gifts, remember what I said earlier. In order to awaken your gifts, you also have to build your relationship with your source. You have to get quiet. You have to start meditating. You have to start building a relationship with God, your source, period, point blank. These steps you cannot skip. Because like I told you, you can watch, sit and watch me all, all the time and, and listen to what I'm saying. And guess what? You're just watching what I'm saying. You're not doing anything. You have to do. You have to start moving and doing. Now, I'm going to do a little recap. In order to know what your gifts are, you first have to know what you're good at. And another thing is, what do you enjoy doing? Once you build the trust in yourself, in your self-confidence, in your self-esteem, all of these things, once you start building there, guess what happens? You begin to learn how to then have confidence in yourself to now trust you. See, I, I told you guys earlier, trusting yourself is not hard to do. But it's essential that you know how to do that because you're going to have to depend on yourself when it comes to manifestation. Are you going to do the work? I mean, really do the work. And I, I mean, a lot of work. Are you going to be able to do that? Are you going to be able to sign up and, and be committed to the work in order to manifest? That's something you have to answer for you. And, and it all shows based upon your practices that you're doing towards making the steps to improvement of your self-confidence, period. See, self-confidence and depression don't go hand to hand. Self-confidence doesn't, doesn't connect with depression. So stagnation does. <laughs> So if you're hindered with a lot of depression and you're hindered with sadness and you're hindered with grief and you're hindered with all kinds of excuses and I can't and I won't in your life, guess what? You're not going to manifest nothing. But a lot of grief <laughs> and a lot of nothing getting done and a lot of drama because you have to fill in your time. So you're going to fill in your time with drama and crazy and nonsense. And then you're going to be like, oh, I have a fulfilled life. No, you don't. You're not manifesting your purpose. So how is that really how is that really pushing you into your purpose? How is that happening? When you're so grief stricken all the time. Miserable. I can't get nothing done. I'm sad. Da, 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 all this stuff. No, it's unacceptable. You have to let that stuff go, man. You want to build trust, you got to get serious about your life, man. It's not, tomorrow's not a promise. Hell, the end of the day ain't promised. Later on this evening isn't promised. And we're spending a lot of time wasting. Doing what? A whole lot of nothing. Hemming and hawing and, and complaining about what you don't have. 
And you're a walking empire right now that just isn't inspired to do the work because you want it or you expect somebody else will give it to you or you expect that you, you know, you'll marry somebody that'll gift it to you. You know how many people are out here trying to get married just to get satisfied financially so they have a retirement plan and they're and they're and they're shutting down their own gifts to get a so-called empire. But why do they deserve it? What have they done? You know what I'm saying? We have to get busy in understanding our worth, our value. And we're not, if we're not being smart about what it is we have to offer the planet. We sit around a lot of times, man, I'm telling you. And we just feel like, well, you know, we're doing enough. But we're not. We're not even inspired in our purpose, man. We're not even focusing on what's necessary to make sure that our kids will have. And our kids' kids will have. Hell, that we will have once we become seniors. We don't have any of this any of this thinking in our mindset. But we want a relationship, though? <laughs> really? <laughs> and y'all wonder why I tell y'all to shine on loving oneself. I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm gifting you this information so that you can understand the importance and how imperative it is you get busy on your purpose and on your plate. It's not tomorrow is not promised it's essential that we get busy you want to build your trust you got to first build your trust in the source your god build your build your trust in yourself and then you'll be able to not be fearful of of expanding yourself and being and, and having a magnetism that other people will draw to so you can start building relationships because once you do everything you're supposed to do once you create and once you start advancing your gifts out here, you're going to have to build relationships, you know. I'm not talking about love relationships. I'm talking about build relationships to help you manifest the best version of what you're trying to build. So guess what? You're going to have to trust some people. Woo-wee. We have an issue with trust, right? I don't have, I have, tra I hear so many guys will tell me, women will tell me, I got trust issues. Well, then you don't have you don't have a very strong faith base because people that have a strong faith they don't have trust issues with people you think I'm hesitant to get to know somebody nah, I'm not I'm all about building friendships and relationships it's important I can't manifest nothing if I don't Am I all worrisome and scared that, oh my God, I'm going to build a friendship and it's going to fall apart? No, that's energy. I don't, want to, I don't want to push that energy into a relationship that's brand new. Why? Why would I do that? Let me build relationships that are going to be strong. Because in order for me to manifest something, I have to have friendships and relationships out of the realm I'm in. I'm in Ohio. I, I got other people and friends that are in Atlanta, you know. I can't be, oh my God, I can't be friends with them. You know, you've got to be open to trusting other people and follow your spot, follow your, your, your sixth sense. I'm not talking about your intuition because your intuition can be off. Follow your sixth sense. And what I told you guys earlier is ask the source to sharpen your discernment. Because when you have a good sharp discernment, you don't have to worry about somebody being distrusting. If they are, so be it. You'll be covered anyway. If somebody is, it has got an angle on you or wants to try to do something to what you're trying to create, they'll fall off anyway. You got to write. I mean, you think on the whole, I mean, I've been in my business now over seven years now. And I've had people that did me wrong. Do you think for a half a second I stopped moving? because of the people that did me wrong no do you think i stopped having relationships and friendships and 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 uh great um focus on what i'm trying to do because of other people doing me wrong no i just kept moving i don't let that stop me and anybody that's trying to manifest something there's going to be people that are are not going to go with you the long haul but that's okay 
understand everybody that's around and that's that's in your life is fine be happy and thankful for them and learn what you can from them while they're in your life in a positive way and then move on you don't have to feel all oh i can't be friends with them i don't know this i don't know this about them and who are they you know when we when we get to the point that we're so suspicious of everybody we'll find ourselves to just really limit beautiful relationships that could carry on for a lifetime and have some real endurance and someone that can end up caring about you we got to get off of this i don't trust nobody stuff because it's not healthy nor is it going to truly help you manifest you've got to have relationships in order to manifest like i said you sharpen these three things that i'm giving you already get get your trust built up with god and your source period hey that's number one number two get your trust up with you do you trust you with do you trust you i mean really do you trust you would you hand what you are gifted would you hand that to someone else to take over for you that you don't trust of course not so trust yourself that's very important because see a lot of times when we don't trust ourselves we're stagnant and we're not moving we're stagnant very stagnant and we're just and, and we're just in the balance and we're just uh, i don't know a paycheck away from being homeless i mean it's crazy but you're walking around with all these gifts or one of your best gifts and you're not really taking the time out to really do the work to sharpen it that's your fault and it's not good it's not so it's very important that you focus on that so just to recap make sure that you build your relationship with source i mean you got to get serious this ain't no play time this ain't no playing games this is serious you need to start building a relationship with your guy and listen Pay attention. Allow God to start pouring into you. And what good is it if you're not able to hear? You see. God wants listeners. And then God wants doers. He wants those that want to take what he's gifting us and do the work. He wants somebody that ain't afraid to do the work. Ain't afraid to fail. You know what I'm saying? We're so caught up in thinking we have to have A's in life. There's no such a thing. <laughs> know how many F's I had? <laughs> Man, please. I failed a lot of times. A lot. But I'm still here. I'm still kicking. And I'm still and I will never quit. It's not in my, it's not in my, it's not in my blood. It's not in my, it's not in my pedigree to quit. I don't. I won't quit. So you can't quit either. So you first have to sit back and say, what is it? that I can manifest right now. But like I said, you have to take my course first. You have to awaken your gifts first. You have to learn how to master your feelings first and then get on to your next step. See, you can't skip steps, baby. Not in, not in manifestation. You can't skip it. You can't say, Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to worry about trusting the source. I'll just trust myself. No, no, that ain't gonna work we, we're too flawed man we're way too flawed to just trust ourselves no that's not gonna work <laughs> i don't care what you do i'm sorry very sorry but no that doesn't work you have to trust your source and you have to walk by faith and you have to be diligent in what you're doing like i said i told my son i could be walking on on thin air baby boy but i fear not of that Cause I know God got me everything I do you see me at walk working you see me up tirelessly doing work when my son is asleep I'm working when y'all are asleep I'm working I was up early five o'clock doing stuff for the business for what I gotta do I'm not stopping I'm in my purpose but I couldn't get here if I didn't awaken my gifts first to know what I'm supposed to be doing because we could be doing a lot and running in place. 
and not really focusing on why we're here on the planet. What are we here to do? We're all a gift to the planet, you know. We're a gift. So, you know, when you sit back and you look at how, just, just look at the creation of birth. When you see how you made it through conception and birth, and now you're here, <laughs> and, and even if you're people of color, you know it's hard for us melanated people <laughs> to still be here on the planet. We are here for a reason. Ancestrally, we got a lot of stuff in our downline that we don't even realize we had. We don't. I, I mean, we really don't sit back and look and say, well, what do I really, where did I come from? I mean, where did I come from? What's in my actual blood? What, what, what are my... What are my ancestors cheering me on to do right now? You ever think about that? You got ancestors that's passed on really hoping and wishing and, and praying that you move. They have passed the torch to you. You should be moving and manifesting something right now in honor of them. Melanated people, you know we got a lot of work to do. And we are, we are so ingenious. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And some of us don't want to awaken ourselves. You know what I am right now? I am a lighter. And, and you are the flame that I am trying to ignite. We all have a match in our soul. All of us. We got this match right here. See this? This match? That's all of us. We all have it. But some are blazing and some are kind of dim and some of them are dampened. They're saddened. They don't want to move. We got to start getting lit. And then once we get lit, we need to stay lit. Period. There's <laughs> no ands and outs about it. That's what needs to happen. And we need to start shining on loving oneself point blank period hey in order to manifest these are things you got to do i hope i gifted you guys with something today like i say it's very important that we manifest our truths will be will show up but we have to first do the work we have to be mindful how important it is to get busy on the grind stop making excuses stop sitting around hum drumming and saying all kinds of reasons why you can't do something when god's been steady steady knocking on your door having messengers go and reach you and you'll be like i don't want to take that i don't want to listen to that god's saying i need her to could you get her woke up please i'm waking up at five in the morning to wake y'all up <laughs> it's just what it is and I'll take the call. I don't mind. Oh, you want me to wake him up? Okay, I'll wake him up. Let me get my lighter and start lighting y'all up. One match at a time. I'm going to light all y'all up. Now, once I get you lit, though, you got to stay lit. Which means you got to then do the work. That's the power of being a coach. I can be a coach all day and really get you inspired. And get you lit and excited. But, uh... You got to continue to stay lit. That's the power of it. I'm just saying. You guys need to share this video. You also need to make sure you tag people that you know are walking around with a wet match. You know how wet matches are? They just, they just, they're not, they're not lit. They're just, and you know, they got gifts. You know, they got talents and they walking around broke, miserable, depressed, wanting a relationship and you're not you're not lit up you're not excited about life and you got one go talk to them people over at hospice that only got six months to live and see how they feel they don't have time talk to them you depressed 
oh no take your depressed ass on over to the hospice and see how they feel you don't know depression until you know it's time to go I'm trying to tell y'all man we got to get lit we got to get lit and then once we get lit we got to stay lit period just what it is if you have not yet signed up for my youtube channel it's carla nicole wisdom channel go over there go over there right now and subscribe i will be getting the links over here for awakening your gifts and mastering your feelings i need y'all to take those and once you take the course i want you to say i did in this in this video right here just inbox it I, not inbox it but type it type it on here i did i did my course i did take it it's important not for me i know who takes the courses i know what's being done you ain't gotta tell me but others need to see how important it is that you're taking the work and doing the work once you start manifesting some stuff people will be like oh so how'd you start i first had to take the course i thought i could skip it i didn't think i had to do the self-work i thought i could skip that step no you can't i'm sorry <laughs> you can't skip it it has to get done so in order to get done, you have to do the work first. And the first part of learning about manifestation is you have to sit back and start owning your shit. I had to own mine and I had a lot of shit I had to own. <laughs> That's why I'm telling y'all about it because I had to do the work. I did it. I did it. Then I had to create Awakening Your Gifts so that you guys don't have to do what I did unfortunately i had to go about it a little bit harder than maybe you guys do i'm just saying so like i said shine on loving oneself solo okay this is you you're the flame i'm flickering the light i'm flicking her in the light i'm getting you lit now you gotta stay lit you got it it's carla nicole i'm signing off best kept have a great day guys bye